Staying committed to a new diet can be very challenging, and even more so if you're changing from a high carbs to a keto diet. It is certainly going to take a lot of effort to get used to. It will also require a lot of dedication and willpower. The bottom line is, it's going to be tough. If you want to stick to your new diet plan and prevent the pounds from coming back, you're going to have to be focused and be consistent. This truly is the secret to any weight loss program. Thankfully, this video will show you some easy to apply tweaks that would enable you to convert your keto diet into a lifestyle. If you are using a diet just as a quick way to drop a few pounds here and there, you are more likely going to put those pounds back on again. It's only a matter of when. However, if you focus and see your diet plan as an opening or a transition point to a different lifestyle, your weight is more likely going to stay off. Although quite simple, these tweaks will take time to get used to. But eventually, they will become second nature if you give them enough focus and importance. Eat only when you're hungry. So many people eat even when they're not hungry. This is mostly down to habit or lifestyle. For some, they can't help themselves, if they start eating, they can't stop. Regardless of whether they are hungry or how busy they are, they will just sit down and enjoy a snack or even a whole meal. This is a big problem. Because if you're not hungry, your body does not require the calories. Try to keep yourself busy and lose yourself on what you are doing throughout the day. No matter what you're doing, if you're not hungry, you don't need to eat. You need your diet to be a lifestyle that you can stick to for life, eat only when you're hungry. This is the most important thing you need to do. Just remember, we eat to live, we don't live to eat. Focus. Stop eating just because you want to. You must only eat because you're feeling hungry. When you get hunger pangs. Drink water. Handling hunger pangs is probably one of the most difficult issues to deal with when starting a new diet. It's so easy to stop off at the nearest fast food restaurant or grocery store and buy some ready meal when you feel hungry. This is common and it's what most of us do. But, more often, these hunger pangs are only temporary. Drink water when you first get hunger pangs. Just one or two cups of water can quickly stop you feeling hungry. It's always a good idea to always keep a small bottle of water with you, and just take a few sips when you start feeling hungry. Eat slowly. When it comes to mealtimes, don't rush your food. Now, this is easier said than done. You may be busy, and feel you don't have much time, you're probably got used to eating quickly. If you're like most people, you think your time is valuable and eating slowly is not really an option. It's worth pointing out. When you rush your meals, your mind doesn't register full and will keep telling you you're hungry. So, of course, you crave for more calories until your mind finally registers your body is full. Your body will only feel full when your stomach has expanded enough. It's obvious, this is not a formula for successful weight loss. You will just end up eating more than you need. Therefore, it's a good idea to eat slowly. By eating slowly, you get to enjoy your food more and your brain will have time to synchronize and catch up with your stomach. Because, while you're eating, your body is releasing chemical compounds. Your body sends out signals between your brain and the rest of your body, particularly your digestive system. But, when you rush your food, these finely tuned signals become interrupted and doesn't get the correct information. So, you end up overfilling your system with calories. So, eat slowly. Don't rush. Enjoy your food. Eat to live. Don't live to eat. Make each meal an event. When you eat slowly and enjoy your food, your mind will open itself to the possibility of looking at food as some sort of an occasion. Your food is no longer just a generic fuel that you just keeps you going throughout the day. Well, that's how most people view food. You should look at food as a sort of reward, something to be celebrated, to look forward to. You need to slow down and eat more intentionally so you can really enjoy your food. Get this right, then eventually, you will be able to look at each meal as some sort of event. Be mindfully when you eat. So, we have highlighted why you should eat slowly, you also need to be conscious of the eating process. Savor each mouthful and experience your food preferences in a more positive way. Take time to taste all the flavors. Everyone has different tastes and preferences. When you become conscious of your food, the meals say something about you. When you become connected to the whole eating process you also become focused on what you're doing. Follow these tips, and you will find you be eating less frequently. If you want to discover more facts about reducing carbs and the keto diet, visit our website, Reduce Carbs, at reducicarbs.com. You can find a link in the description below.
You can also download our free keto recipe book. To stay updated and know when we add new videos, click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.